now we'll see what is fluid triangle first we'll see output suppose I want up to four levels so this is up to four levels fluid triangle means consecutive numbers starting from one so like in a triangle form but sorry right angle triangle form in one now before you, uh, you are new subscribe to my channel to get more updates now we'll see javascript should be written between a script tag in head section of html or body section of html or in heads uh, as external file every javascript code is saved by extension dot html give any name extension is dot html so already i had given the name and i had already written the program we'll see the uh, variables we have declared the variables prompt is used to accept the input so this number suppose how many rows you want so if I had accepted 4, 4 will assign to n. Now we have duplicated the value of n to m. That means for m, I will tell you why I had used here below. So here, no need actually extra had given. So no need of this, this variable because we are not used for any purpose. So no need. Now for loop. For i is equal to 1. Uh, I uh, we had used two loop one is for how many rows and this is for printing i is one i less than uh, n now suppose n value we had to cast four j is i is one i one is less than three yes then it will come down this is inner loop will get executed again and again till this condition is true so j is one one is less than i because on first line we want only it should execute only once and in second line it, it should execute twice third line it should execute this uh, loop should execute thrice that way it is so j is 1 1 is less than equal to 1 because i value is 1 yes so it will print a uh, value of counter so it will print what is the value initially i had assigned 1 so it will print 1 then both value will increment j will become 2, counter will also become 2. Now it will check. 2 is less than i, that is i value is 1. No. Then it will come. br means new line. Now it will come to new line because 1 only we had printed, we have to come below. Now upper loop, it will become 2. 2 is less than n, n value is 4. So 2 is less than equal to 4, yes. Inner loop again it will become 1. So here it will check. Uh, uh, j value is again 1 1 is less than equal to 2 yes now previously both uh, this uh, counter value ha was 2 so it will print 2 on next line with space uh, it will print and then it will increment both value that is j will become uh, 2 counter will become 3 and then it will check after this it will go here this both will increment if this became 3 this also became sorry 2 this became uh, this was 1 first it had check 1 with 1 then 2 now 3 so 3 is less than equal to 2 no and then it will come out next line then it will become 3 I will become 3, three is less than equal to 4 uh, yes this will again become 1 1 is less than equal to 3, yes. It will print 4 because see here on next line how it is. I will show you how many rows you want, suppose 4 rows. So, on see third line, on third line, see here 4, third line, on third line, 4 is printed okay so 4 it is printed so print it printed 4 then again both will increment this will become 5 means after this printing it will increment this value it become 5 this became uh, what uh, it became uh, that is 2 2 is less than equal to uh, 3 yes then it will print what is the next value so because before checking it will increment so this became 5 and this uh, became uh, 4 so 4 is less than equal to 4 yes then that way it will go on predict so I will show you 
so means this condition will execute again and again till it become i and this will go on incrementing by one by one by one this means how many times you want and this will go on incrementing with previous values so if you understood subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you